All right, guys, today I'm going to give you a little secret. Uh, it looks like somebody's done tried to mess with this at one time. But the best thing that I have found to get rid of fire ants is by Fentrum. I used to use XTS, which was uh, like 25% by Fentrum. I got some stuff the other day at Tractor Supply, and it is uh, only 7.9, which is about it's actually less than a third of what I would normally do. So instead of a, a ounce, a half ounce, I put a full ounce to a gallon. Now the, the key to the killing a, a fire ant eel is to spray around it first because when they come out, they got to cross somewhere, and if they're going to crawl through that, it's going to kill them. Now I'm not going to say that you kill this right here and two weeks from now you may not have a little bitty one pop up over there. But the thing is this stuff is so cheap. If you get a mound in your yard, go out and kill it early. You don't have to worry with it. So what I'm going to do is right now I'm just wetting about a, a 10 foot area just around. Just wetting everything down. That way if these ants start crawling out of this thing, they're going to have to crawl through uh, this by Fentrum. It doesn't hurt grass if you get Japanese beetles on your roses in the summer. Uh, come May, third week of May, you better be spraying your roses or you're going to have a, a beetle fest on them. They'll fly away. It don't kill the roses. doesn't hurt them. And it'll make your, uh, if they won't eat the leaves off of them. So, I'm wet. It's and it's, and it's wet here today. It, it rained here, Tennessee. We have these everywhere down here. Uh, I mean, like we really do. It doesn't matter if it's winter time or what. Uh, we have fire ant hills. So I'm just going to show you that this is active. You see them coming out. Just wet the mound. I saturated. I probably put more than I should but when you're buying 32 ounces and you only have to or I think it's 36 32 ounces when you're buying that much and it's only 20 bucks uh, and it does what it's supposed to do I don't care one bit to spray a little bit extra I mean this is a huge mound I mean it's every bit of two foot tall and I've been seeing this mound for a year now. It's, it's actually not even my customer's property. It's an empty lot beside of a place that I mow. And I thought, you know, what better place to, to show that a product works than here? Uh, because it's everywhere. Now you can tell somebody's came through and kicked this, I guess, to see if it was alive. And uh, you got some here and some here. so. Even though there's not any activity in this one, there's some little surface ants crawling around. I'm still going to spray it uh, just to see if there's anything in this one. Oh, yeah, see? Here they come. And it just almost stops them instantly. So, like I said, I end up... What I do here is I just soak the mound... Uh, and then after I soak it, everything around it, I'll go back over again just to make sure that any of these little things that got out, if they're crawling, they're having to crawl through what's killing them or what is going to kill them. So this is the, I don't even know what day it is. Anyway, this is Thursday. I'll be back to this property next week and, uh, I'll knock this over again and I'll kick it in like I just did and you'll see there won't be any ant activity whatsoever here. This stuff is cheap. Like I said, I, I've always used the Bipen XTS. It's went up almost double what it used to be. Uh, it's triple the strength, supposedly, than this stuff is, but it's so cheap and I don't use a ton of it. I just keep it because I know it works. And I try to keep all my customers' yards sprayed out. If I go do a house wash or a roof wash or something, driveway especially, because they like driveways and landscaping blocks. If I go do a job like that and there's ants everywhere or I'm mowing a property, um, I'll end up spraying it just for free just because, you know, it's going to help me out and not have to worry about 
stepping into ants. I had a job last year where I didn't do that and the ants were crawling on my pressure hose the whole time I was doing the driveway. And that or I say it was actually a sidewalk. And trust me, that sucked. Because every time I thought I had them knocked down, here to come another one. So, uh, I'll show you what it is. I got it up here in the front seat of the truck. I think it calls for a half ounce to a gallon and I mix it, oh, I mixed it one ounce to the gallon just to see. But what you're looking for is that by, fin by fintering, it's, uh, it's amazing, it works good. And so far I've never had one that it didn't, uh, I never had one that it didn't kill the stuff for. So it says it works on a lot of things. I don't know what all about none of this other stuff it works on, but I do know it works on a uh, army worms. That's one that everybody had last year. You can mix it up and kill them. And like I said, the Bifin XTS is what I used to get. And it was like 25.9. It was three times as the potent as this, but it only took a half ounce to the gallon. So this one I made I made it with one ounce to the gallon, and I think that's actually what this bottle recommended because it's such a a light percentage. But uh, yeah, it actually says fire ants on there. So that's a huge mound, probably bigger than what most people are gonna have. But I just want to do that one just to show you that the way I sprayed it, what I sprayed uh, is going to uh, take care of them ants. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna promise they ain't gonna come back somewhere else in a smaller bunch. But my property has no ants because, you know, if I see them or my kids see them, they tell me and I go spray them instantly and it's done. So, uh, just a quick tip for you guys. Um, I say quick, but I'm seven minutes in. But just, uh, if you got fire ants, customers have fire ants. Uh, definitely rose bushes. You know, mid-May, next May, I'd go ahead and spray them because you're going to have beetles in there just having a fest on them. And you can spray this same mixture and get rid of them so uh, you still have some roses left. And like I said, army worms was a big thing that hit the summer or hit the south last year and uh, definitely something you'd want to get rid of. So, uh, yeah, 1999 at Tractor Supply or you can order it online too. So uh, that's my time for the day. We'll see you next time. All right, guys, it was a little bit windy, but uh, back a week later, I showed you that ant hill that I sprayed out and you can tell how cracked it is that there's no ants in it anymore there's not any okay this is a week later but just to show that I believe it I'm gonna kick it open now you know in Mount Hills they seal up and they don't break open well you can use this stuff come back the, the next day now this has been a week but you can come back the very next day you spray, and this is dead. Now imagine getting caught up in this. Your dog, you, your kid, somebody. And it just takes a little bit of spray, something real simple. Look that. All it is now is a pile of dirt. Kick that dirt away. Uh, it won't kill the grass, and it kills the ants. So you guys got to get that stuff if you have trouble with ants. We'll see you.